family, it's your boy Street News TV. Back at y'all with another Chirac Street Legends. And this episode is going to be about none other than Lil Jojo. Now Jojo comes from that Brick Squad set down 69th in Eggleston. They insane GDs, and they also have BDs. That area, when JoJo was alive, was known as Ikeville in remembrance of a Brick Squad member that went by the name of Ike that was killed at a party. And they're actually a part of the Crooked Eye movement that was created by a guy named Jason, a guy named Fluffy, and a guy named Leon. And what that did was, it actually made those GDs renegades. Man, we out here, man. My niggas up next, man. Get this insane. Ain't no up next. We get. up now, man. You hear me tell All right. No lacking. Huh? Now, a lot of people get it confused thinking that Brick Squad and D Block are the same thing. When in actuality, they're different, but, you know, they're very close knitted. Kind of like. STL EBT where Brick Squad is on 69th in Eggleston and D Block is on 70th in Eggleston. People think that Brick Squad's main enemy when JoJo was alive was 300 or Lamron, but actually that's not true. They were actually into it with a BD set from off 71st and 72nd in normal called Dipset or Tie Game. JoJo was actually that glue that hell, that Brick Squad, D Block, and that 6775 Alliance together. When JoJo was alive, it was Brick Squad, D Block, Block Burner, JJ Gang, Man Man Gang, Wookie World, Wooga World, and Peen Gang, all a part of an alliance that was formed by those different sets called 6775. JoJo was also real cool with Lil J, which in turn made him real cool with STL and FBG. How you know, man? It's MOB shit, man. Shout out to Brick Squad, STL, man. We out here, man. My mom fat ass. Fuck you, man. We so BDK over here, man. Fuck the off. Wait till this new shit drop. Now, King Sucker, man. All right. Fuck y'all, Carl. Ah, help me. Man, help me. I'm sick of talking about it. Let me in it, man. 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 Jojo dropping the song BDK actually turned into something that even Jojo himself did not expect. Jojo was actually dissing 300 or Lamron, but people perceived that song BDK as Jojo dissing the whole Black Disciple Nation. And the crazy thing is, is that the song BDK would have never been made if it wasn't for Dirk dissing Brick Squad and Wooga World. Yeah, all that BDK shit started, nigga, really because of Dirk. Lil Dirk started all that shit, bro. Lil Dirk made L's Anthem. In the song L's Anthem, he said, uh, what'd he say? Uh, my own nigga don't trust him. Brick Squad, I said, fuck him. Wooga World with him, so fuck him. Brick Squad, I say, fuck him. Wooga World with him, so fuck him. So he basically just put us, and this was a hit. I never take from the man. The song was hit. Like, sometimes I'll be playing on some man, but then I'll just turn this shit off and play that shit. Oh, what up? But, <laughs> The man said that, just said, fuck us to the whole world. Now, I go kick him with Wook all the time. I'm dead. Y'all down the street. I ain't know it was that. So, Jojo, he instantly, wow, niggas want to say fuck Brick Squad, fuck us. These niggas playing 300. Bitch, I'm BDK. BDK, yeah, bitch, I'm BDK. I'm stacking bitch, so you know I'm cracking trades. So, it was like, that was the response to that. It just got a bigger notoriety because, give my boy his credit, RP Jojo, one of the greatest. His ass did what he did, his ass did his thing. Jojo was killed because he made the song BDK and dissed the whole Black Disciple Nation. And what happened was, two things actually started happening for Jojo and Brick Squad. Brick Squad started gaining more notoriety and a lot of the GDs that 
wasn't really clicked up with Brick Squad, started getting cool with Brick Squad, and they started following in suit behind JoJo. So a real movement actually began to spring up behind this song. It also made JoJo's ops want him even more because the song began to gain notoriety and his ops seen that he was actually on the road to becoming successful. And one thing about ops, they know that once a person acquires money that they're beefing with, nine times out of 10, the war is gonna get a lot worse. And I think that once BDK started blowing up and GDs were actually going around the city using JoJo's song to taunt BDs, JoJo kind of tried to clean that up or clear that up in one of his interviews, making 300 specifically his topic. The guy asked what was the official name of the song and JoJo told him that the song was called 300K. All right, um, shit, you know, we, um, one of your songs that, that grabbed the whole city attention right now, you know what I mean? Is the, um, what, what's the actual title to it? 300K, you know? like that. Ain't no 300K, 300K. All right, you bet. <laughs> Crack and Trey. All right. We all right there, we see JoJo on the ground, ambulance, how They turn him around and see you see a big ass hole like this, boy. On the day of September 4th, 2012, Lil Jojo was allegedly shooting at members from Lamron. Later on that day, he ended up having a confrontation with Lil Reese. They called for them ratchets, they been hopping this shit. Boy, I'm to tell y'all. Oh, I did. Yo, boy, you gonna block this shit. Steve, boy, you a bitch, boy. Hey, Reese, you a bitch. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with you, bitch? Hey, 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 I'm a brick squad. Yeah, brick squad, boy. What the fuck is you talking about, boy? Over here, you a bitch. So after the confrontation with Lil Reese, Lil Jojo ends up going back to the block where he actually ends up going to jail for gambling on the block. So after he went to jail, he was placed in a holding cell for a couple of hours. After that, he was let out. Jojo goes right back to the block and at some point or another Jojo gave away his location at precisely 5 13 p.m. Jojo tweeted out I'm on 069 I'm out here witnesses say that shortly after that a tan vehicle pulled up and shot Jojo now a lot of people think that JoJo made the tweet, and then guys pulled up and slid on JoJo right after that and got JoJo. According to the news, JoJo got shot around 7.30 p.m. He made the tweet at 5.13 p.m. So he had plenty of time to change locations. It will come out after the death of BD Loco from low life that he was the one that got Jojo. I think that what we can learn from Jojo's situation is one, never, ever, ever give away your location. And I really shouldn't even have to say that, but we, we got to cross that bridge again. Stop giving away your locations, period. Not a good idea. And two, Sometimes we actually have to look ourselves in the eye, in the mirror, and realize what and who we are. What do I mean by that? I don't think that JoJo, the same as Lil Mister, realized how big he was, how famous he had gotten. And by not realizing who he was, he couldn't move properly because he still, in his mind, was thinking that he was down here with the rest of the street goons. No, sir, you're up here. You're a boss now. Niggas are looking up to you. You gotta move 
accordingly. I feel like this was a very, very, very big chapter in the drill scene, and it kind of scoped it, the drill scene, into what it is today. A lot of people were very devastated by the death of JoJo because JoJo was the leader of that new wave that was rising out of the depths of the gutter of the south side of Chicago. People would look at JoJo and they would want to do whatever JoJo wanted to do. And any man that can captivate his peers to that extent is all right by me. Shout out to Brick Squad and rest in peace to JoJo. We know you holding down enough there, but we got you while you out here, short. Squad. R.I.P. Well, JoJo, man. Every other nigga's dumb dad ain't assassinated, man. Skip. Squash it, man. R.I.P. JoJo, man. V.I.P. JoJo, man. Ball of Paradise, man. You already know y'all we rockin', man. We turn up every day for JoJo and our key. Squash.